Yeah. Uh, so today uh, we are going to deal with uh, the management subject uh, where we are going to see that the technological innovation management and entrepreneurship subject code is 18 years 51. So here we are going to understand uh, what are the needs of uh, understanding management, how the management is going to influence the uh, industry and how what are the key techniques required uh, for uh, the managerial operation. So these are some of the objectives which we are going to define and understand uh, these things in much detail. So myself, Dr. Jujesh, uh, so I'll be discussing on these things. So uh, first of all, uh, to just understand the uh, what, what the definition of management is all about is the management is a function of guidance and leadership control of effort of group of individuals in order to achieve goals and objectives of the organization. So it's very important to achieve uh, certain goals and objectives which the organization has defined uh, in the uh, process of uh, upliftment of the entire system so uh, as a management uh, it has a key role in understanding these things and to uh, just to put uh, the proper effort uh, in in a group of individuals uh, so that you can uh, fulfill all the requirements of the organization so as you go top most level so you have to be very much precise in uh, taking up the decisions and uh, making the process uh, to function smooth. So uh, just to uh, understand the uh, in much detail, you can you also always know that uh, getting the things done is uh, one of the major uh, requirement of any uh, management and management is a critical element of economic growth of the country and it is dynamic uh, life giving element of the any organization so uh, it is very much essential to ensure the coordination of individuals effort in the uh, definition uh, defining the management uh, you can say that it is an art of getting the things done so you, you know that anyone can uh, as you go higher and higher in the system so anyone can make uh, the people to work but how efficiently how good without any much uh, problems how better uh, you put the things in a systematic way and uh, so that both the parties are uh, comfortable to do the things so that is that is actually an art of uh, getting the things done uh, and uh, so uh, some of the great leaders know that how it has to be done properly so it's very much important for us to understand that how best the system can be molded and uh, in a systematic way to achieve certain goals and objectives uh, as desired by the top management so uh, just to uh, brief you further you have uh, the management process can be classified into planning organizing actuating and controlling all these are some of the various uh, stages or steps involved in achieving the objectives and goals of uh, the industry or an academic institute so it's a management uh, has to be very much precise in uh, planning the system and uh, putting the uh, things in the right place uh, to get the uh, proper output and it's very much important to retain uh, the uh, retain the qualities and uh, uh, good employees who are uh, able to give a proper decision making concept for the industry or a managed uh, or an academic institutions uh, for the upliftment of the institution so it's very much precise that everyone has to work together in a team uh, to achieve the objectives and goals so uh, what are the nature and characteristics of management so if you understand uh, much in detail so uh, it's very important to have any organization should have a proper uh, land you know that the facility of land is very important and then you have to have a good set of labors to work with you to achieve uh, all the uh, necessary hurdles in the uh, in the upcoming day so uh, capital is always a key um, factor and organization has to overcome all these uh, things to uh, come out with a successful uh, system. So uh, the production uh, is the result of their combined effort. So it's not going to happen overnight and uh, you have to struggle for that for a period of uh, 
two to three years at least to see that what uh, what you have executed is coming uh, successful uh, in in as the outcome so success of production depends on their effective combination and cooperation and uh, the effective balance is a challenging task and proper skill and knowledge is uh, the most important thing which is required for every uh, system to have a better performance uh, so uh, further moving on uh, to the nature and characteristics of management uh, it's very important uh, to have uh, a good stable management uh, with uh, which can uh, uh, which can take the decisions in the right intervals of time and uh, can also uh, make sure that all the things happens uh, systematically so it is applicable uh, it, so it should be a stable system and applicable to all kinds of organizations like it can be you can classify uh, and say that uh, yeah, the management uh, it's not only at the top level at every uh, stage of the growth of the industry you have every uh, set of managerial concepts to be uh, implemented to. so the uh, transparent uh, has to be the system has to be transparent and also uh, the approach whatever uh, we make it uh, as a uh, top management or uh, at the uh, st at every stage of uh, decision making you have to be clear with uh, uh, with those decisions and you should be goal oriented uh, it's and uh, how best you uh, make use of all these things put together it's very important uh, characteristics of a management so uh, along with this uh, it should be simple and effective and uh, you should not make the system complicated so that is very important uh, for us to understand it should be uh, uh, many external uh, elements like economical, uh, technical and uh, social, political. Uh, so all these factors will affect uh, uh, as well as the system. And we have a well-defined goals and effective means to accomplish these goals. And good planning, organizing, staffing, directing and controlling has to be done uh, properly so that you get the uh, desired output. And provide uh, uh, a proper atmosphere to work uh, that is very much important for because uh, so then only the people will get that facility to uh, explore their uh, abilities uh, as per the working culture so that is all a, a management has to take in and uh, look forward for a better approach so uh, the scope of management the management is uh, a must for every organization as we know that and uh, what are the scope uh, basically it depends on the time cost and quality and uh, if you know that uh, if you may be knowing that if you compromise uh, quality the time and cost uh, it will not so it, it is interdependent to each other uh, so that's why management plans to achieve coordinates so, and we, uh, utilizes the uh, available resources effectively and uh, at the minimum cost. And scope of management is not limited only to the business organizations, but it is extended to the business establishments as well. So what is the scope of management? So you know that most of the managerial uh, activities whichever it takes place you have different departments uh, in order to control that like development of uh, a certain things in the organization takes place in, by uh, the monitoring of development management you have a distribution management as well as financial management marketing management personal management so production management so personal management marketing management financial management you know that financial management takes out all the financial credentials of that and marketing uh, just promotes the uh, entire system and uh, pr uh, you have a personal management system and production management system as well as office management uh, system it's uh, these are all quite common required uh, things in the industry point of view and uh, you have transport management purchase management sales management and supply chain and business management so these are some of the very much uh, essential or uh, important areas of uh, any industry where uh, industry has to look in to uh, make all this uh, system work in a systematic and uh, a, in a proper direction. 
so its scope starts uh, from self management to home management and to the management of the organization so every individual has to uh, keep track of all these things and uh, has to work together to achieve the objectives and goals of the organization so along with uh, this i would like to wind up for this today and uh, we will continue with more interesting topics in the next upcoming session thank you thank you to all